Coming up next on Newton's Apple, we come face to face with the sharks of Tahiti. Here it goes. Yes, We're searching for pearls <gasps> and going a little nuts. Follow those coconuts. Teaming up for adventures in science next on Newton's Apple. Mask on, the regulator in, and three we go. One, two, three. Outside the pass, we see beautiful silver tip sharks and the larger silky sharks, about eight feet long. Nervous? Me? The heightened senses of a shark make it an amazing hunter. Their eyes are 10 times more sensitive than ours, and they can hear a struggling fish almost a mile away. Welcome to the strange and wondrous world of foliage. <laughs> In Jurassic Park, when carnivorous dinosaurs make a ruckus hunting children in the kitchen, it's really Denny walking barefoot on a filing cabinet. And in Terminator 2, when the T-1000 Terminator chases down its victims, you'd never guess Denny did the footsteps in specially built shoes. From the things we have on this table, Denny, I don't have a clue what sound we're supposed to be making. But well, we're gonna make the sound of a dinosaur egg hatching. With this stuff? With this stuff. All right. Let's roll film, Chris, and we'll show him. I insist on being here when they law. In this scene from Jurassic Park, the baby dinosaur is really a puppet breaking through an artificial eggshell. So the hatching sounds had to be created entirely from scratch. Chris played back just the Foley sound so I could hear each of the elements. You can hear and see like these membranes that'll come up as he's trying to break his way out of the shell. Oh yeah. That's a sticky element we're talking uh -huh. about. He literally like just takes that shell. It'll he'll come and scrape it across. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> goo me up. Next, for the membranes of the hatching egg, Denny came up with rubber surgical gloves and dishwashing liquid. And you can see those strings coming out. Those little membranes. You get some good squeaks. Yeah, see, isn't one. that great? The mirror obeys all the laws of physics, but especially the law of reflection, which says the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. It's just like mm, bouncing a ball. Throw it straight, it bounces straight back. Throw it at an angle, whoa! Look out! Woo! Woo! Yikes! Everybody duck! Is it safe? Ah, oh, so they balance out. Hey, you're not one of these. Hey. But you're right. When the dumbbells are pulled in close, the distance of the two weights from the center of my spin is less. So my speed has to increase to keep the angular momentum the same. Here, let's look at my spin again. I start with one leg and both arms extended. That's putting more of my body weight at a distance from the center of my spin. Now when I bring my arms and leg in closer, you're speeding up. And when I reach my final spin position, my arms and legs are as close to my spin's axis as humanly possible. Absolutely brilliant! Showtime! This is the conservation of angular momentum. And it's the secret behind every spin and jump you see on the ice. From the triple toe loop. Fabulous! To the delayed axle. Even the backflip. Unbelievable! And now I'm going to place my finger over here where you can watch. And now we have her. I'm going to uh, oh, graduate. Oh, here goes your finger. Ouch, she did. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait hey, a minute. Hey, that's amazing, isn't it? It's moving. Well, the uh, sting shaft penetrates, and those two lancets where their barbs catch, and they alternately thrust, going deeper and deeper, pulling the sting in with them. Vince, Larry, are you guys all right in there? Sure, Peggy. Larry and I do this every day. Well, it is important work you're doing, you know. Don't I know it. But this job ain't all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, I see that. Listen, they just have to make cars safer than they are now. It sounds like it might be a job for a supercomputer. What's that? It's like a big brain you wouldn't understand. Listen, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, Peggy, yeah. don't forget to buckle your safety belt. 2.7 billion calculations per second. 
Just to give you an idea of how fast that is, if you were to start performing calculations at the age of two and did one calculation every five seconds, hour after hour, night and day, every day for 70 years, an entire lifetime, you'd finish 440 million calculations. And the supercomputer could do the same work in a fifth of a second. And don't quote me, supercomputers are getting even faster. Inside this paste, there's a process called hydration going on. The particles are surrounded by films of water, and they react almost immediately, making a cement gel. So in a few hours, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. This is called setting. Yeah. You know, in a couple of days, this concrete will set up even harder and stronger than it is right now. Yeah, especially underwater. How do you think they built those bridge supports? Yeah, well, that's why they call it hydraulic cement. But the concrete has to set up first, or the river currents would wash it away. We can wait. You in a hurry? <laughs> Shut, Shut up. up! No, I'm not in a hurry. That's not what I meant at all. Anyway, the result yeah. is a complex interlocking matrix of cement, gel, and crystals that's incredibly strong. Are we going somewhere? No, we ain't. We's going to see how you can hold your breath. No, you know, water really doesn't agree with me. It makes my skin wrinkle. Did I mention to you why skin wrinkles? It's really quite fascinating Quit after stalling. all. Come. What? It's the cops. Let's get out of here. That'll teach you to mess with me. Do you have a chisel on you, Bob? <laughs> <laughs>